He is known for his work in underwater archaeology, particularly in the discoveries of shipwrecks such as the RMS Titanic, the battleship Bismarck, and the aircraft carrier USS Yorktown. He is recognized for his significant contribution in the field of oceanography as a professor at the University of Rhode Island and for his discovery of hydrothermal vents. His name is Robert Dwayne Ballard. Robert Dwayne Ballard, an American retired Navy officer and professor of oceanography at the University of Rhode Island, has dedicated his life to the exploration of the world's oceans. With a passion for underwater archaeology and the study of shipwrecks, Ballard has made groundbreaking discoveries that have had a profound impact on our understanding of maritime history. One of Ballard's most renowned expeditions took place in 1985 when he led a team to discover the wreckage of the RMS Titanic. This iconic ship, which sank in 1912, had long captured the imagination of the world. Ballard's expertise in deep-sea exploration and his pioneering use of remote-operated vehicles allowed him to locate and document the remains of this legendary vessel, providing unprecedented insights into the tragedy and its aftermath. In 1989, Ballard set his sights on another historic wreck, the battleship Bismarck. Sunk during World War II, this German warship had eluded discovery for decades. Utilizing advanced sonar technology, Ballard and his team located the wreckage, shedding new light on the final moments of this formidable vessel and its role in naval history. Continuing his quest for exploration and discovery, Ballard's expertise led him to the Galapagos Islands, where he conducted extensive research on the unique marine ecosystems of this remote archipelago. His studies contributed to our understanding of the region's biodiversity and the importance of conservation efforts in protecting these fragile ecosystems. In 1998, Ballard's attention turned to the Mediterranean Sea, where he discovered the sunken aircraft carrier USS Yorktown. This vessel, which played a pivotal role in World War II, had been lost to the depths for over half a century. Through meticulous planning and innovative technology, Ballard successfully located and documented the wreckage, honoring the bravery and sacrifice of those who served aboard. Ballard's exploration ventures also took him to the Black Sea, where he uncovered an ancient shipwreck dating back over 2,000 years. This discovery provided valuable insights into maritime trade and navigation during the classical period and highlighted the significance of the Black Sea as a historical hub of civilization. In Turkey, Ballard's team embarked on an expedition to the ancient port city of Sinop, where they discovered a sunken ship from the Byzantine era. This find offered a glimpse into the rich cultural heritage of the region and added to our knowledge of maritime history in the eastern Mediterranean. Throughout his career, Ballard's expeditions have not only revealed the secrets of the deep but also inspired a new generation of scientists and explorers. His dedication to ocean exploration led him to establish the Jason Project, an educational initiative that engages students in real-world scientific research and discovery. Ballard's leadership on the research vessel E-V Nautilus continues to push the boundaries of our understanding of the oceans and inspire future generations to explore and protect the wonders of the underwater world. Robert Ballard's unwavering commitment to underwater archaeology and his remarkable discoveries of shipwrecks and hydrothermal vents have left an indelible mark on the world. His expeditions have not only unearthed fascinating historical artifacts but have also deepened our appreciation for the vast and mysterious depths of the world's oceans. Robert Dwayne Ballard's passion for underwater exploration was ignited at a young age. Growing up in Southern California, he was exposed to the wonders of the ocean through his father's work as a flight test engineer. Inspired by the film, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Ballard developed a deep fascination with the mysteries that lay beneath the waves. As a high school student, Ballard had the opportunity to connect with oceanographers at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, participating in research expeditions that further fueled his curiosity. His journey into the world of underwater exploration continued when he enrolled at the University of California, Santa Barbara where he studied chemistry and geology while also joining the Army Reserve Officer Training Corps. In 1965, Ballard graduated from the University of California, Santa Barbara, and embarked on a career in marine geology. He worked with Andreas Rechnitzer's Ocean Systems Group at North American Aviation, contributing to the development of the submersible Alvin. Although the proposal was unsuccessful, Ballard's experience laid the foundation for his future endeavors. Undeterred, Ballard pursued a graduate degree in geophysics from the University of Hawaii's Institute of Geophysics. During this time, he trained porpoises and whales, gaining a deeper understanding of marine life. Returning to North American aviation, Ballard continued his work with Rechnitzer's Ocean Systems Group. In 1967, Ballard's path took an unexpected turn when he was called to active duty. Transferring from the Army to the Navy as an oceanographer, he became a liaison between the Office of Naval Research and the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution in Massachusetts. 
This role allowed Ballard to combine his passion for exploration with his scientific expertise. After leaving active duty and joining the Naval Reserve in 1970, Ballard remained committed to advancing undersea research. He worked tirelessly at Woods Hole, securing funding and support for the use of the Alvin submersible. This dedication paid off when, in 1974, Ballard earned his PhD in marine geology and geophysics from the University of Rhode Island. With his academic achievements and practical experience, Robert Ballard was poised to make remarkable discoveries that would revolutionize our understanding of the underwater world. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.